Okay, this is Lotto. And I thought I'd do a quick video, guys, on the topic of plucking. To pluck or not to pluck? That is the question, isn't it, Lotto? Thank you for your yucky kisses. I love you, but your breath stinks. But anyway, this is our little monkey, Lotto. So with plucking, it's a very, it's not a yes or no answer. A long time ago, we used to pluck every single dog, but... Nowadays, that has changed. I still like to pluck my dog's ears, but the biggest rule is if the plucking is hurting the animal, just don't do it. It's that simple. Um, and don't grab a whole lot of hair in one big clump. I see it being done still, and that's very old fashioned way of doing it. And that's why a lot of um, vets are like, stop no plucking but if a dog requires it it's very very important to pluck a dog's ear if a dog requires it also it depends on the breed of the dog you know for example i never pluck schnauzer ears because they are just so fluffy but then if the schnauzer was a hand strip dog that was well maintained then yes i would be plucking them but very rarely do we get a lot of pets that um, are, are hand stripped. So I find every six weeks to remove that amount of hair just hurts them. So I don't. Um, I love plucking. So I'm just going to show you how to do it safely and how to not stress your dog out. So we use, it's called ear powder. And the reason we use ear powder is really just to get a good grip. So what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go on a different table so you guys can see this better because i want you to see it from a good angle so that's probably better okay so hang on lotto here's a monkey he's so good he's been with me many years he's a really old man so i've got my ear powder come on sweetie this way darling this way sweetheart come on so another thing I don't like to do is I don't like to have them tether when I'm plucking the ear because all these things are stressful and can stress them out. So I'm just going to put this over here so you guys can see it well. Come on, sweetheart. So when plucking an ear, never scare a dog and never, if the dog is struggling with it, don't do it all in one sitting you've got to build up the tension and build up the experience so they're okay with it so i'm just putting a little bit of ear powder and if he was to have been flinching right now and all that i would be just again giving him a massage first before i even go in to do the plucking so when i pluck i have a really good hold and i'm just i'm gonna try and do it so i don't there and i'm just taking a real small when i mean small amount i'm talking a few hairs at a time if i was to grab a big amount of hairs at a time they're gonna really crack it so i'm gonna try and get it so you can see it a bit better hang on sorry guys i'm gonna try and get it there come on come on darling so come on lotto this way sweetheart this way good boy that's better and when I'm grabbing the hair, I'm grabbing, can you see how I'm grabbing little tiny amounts at a time? Because that, it, and it just literally falls out. I'm not, you know, pulling hair that's not ready to come out. This hair, because it is plucked quite regularly, the hair follicle isn't, um, you know, really, really stuck in there. So that was plucking. Now you see how it didn't hurt him at all in any way? If a dog is struggling with it, A, it could be he's got an ear infection. Never pluck ears that are infected or inflamed. Never. You will um, hurt your ear canal. And listen to your dog. If your dog is hurting when you're plucking, that means something's not right. So imagine, obviously, if they're super sensitive, that's different. But if they're super sensitive, that then means they need to be done over a few visits and when I say a few visits, you might even get the owner to come every day for a whole week and do a little bit at a time. Once you've done that and the dog understands it, the rest is quite simple. So I'm just going to show you this ear that has been plucked. 
Now, can you see how clean and, you know, easy it is for that ear to breathe? And this dog needs that done. Some dogs don't need that done. So, again, it's not a right or wrong answer. It just depends on the circumstance and the situation. Hey, Lotto, are you ready? Yes? Okay, thank you. Say bye to the people. Bye. <laughs>